With atrial fibrillation, part of the heart does not beat the way it should. This can lead to the formation of blood clots, which can travel to the brain, causing a stroke. I'd like to share with you important things I tell my AFib patients. Number one, know the signs of stroke. The most important piece of advice that I tell my patients who have been diagnosed with AFib is to know the signs of having a stroke. Here are some signs to keep on the lookout for. Sudden numbness or weakness of the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body. Sudden confusion, trouble speaking or understanding speech. Sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes. Sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination. Sudden severe headache with no known cause. If you experience any of these signs, call 911 immediately. Number two, take your medicine each day as directed. The one critical thing you can do to help reduce your risk of an AFib-related stroke is to take Xarelto exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Even if you are feeling fine and doing well, you need to take it. Your doctor has prescribed Xarelto to be taken once each day with your evening meal. Do not change your dose or stop taking Xarelto unless your doctor tells you to. Stopping Xarelto may increase your risk of having a stroke or forming blood clots in other parts of your body. Your doctor will decide how long you should take Xarelto. Do not stop taking Xarelto without talking with your doctor first. Your doctor may stop Xarelto for a short time before any surgery, medical, or dental procedure. Your doctor will tell you when to start taking Xarelto again after your surgery or procedure. Do not run out of Xarelto. Refill your prescription of Xarelto before you run out. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. If you take too much Xarelto, go to the nearest hospital, emergency room, or call your doctor right away. Number three, take steps towards a healthier lifestyle. Did you know that having high blood pressure or other conditions such as diabetes can further increase your risk of stroke? If you have these conditions in addition to AFib, it's important that you work with your doctor to make a plan to address these conditions. There are plenty of things you may be able to do to help get these conditions under control. If you need to get on a plan to get active or eat a more healthy diet, now is a great time to start. To summarize, take your medications each day. Take steps towards a healthier lifestyle and know the signs of stroke. One of the most important steps that Marianne Aaron spoke about is to take your medicine each day as directed by your doctor. This is what will help you reduce your risk of having an AFib-related stroke. Here are some things you can do. Put your Xarelto bottle where you will see it each day. Some people put it on the table where they eat their evening meal. Mark an X on your calendar each day after you take your Xarelto. Know the date when you need a refill for your Xarelto prescription. Don't wait until the last minute to refill. Write a note in your calendar a week before your prescription is due to be refilled. You will not want to be without your medication. Or better yet, take advantage of the free Xarelto Care Path Refill Reminder Service. Speak with your doctor about any side effects or other issues you may be having. Before you go, I'd like to remind you to take a moment to look at the medication guide. What is Xarelto, Rivaroxaban? Xarelto is a prescription medicine used to reduce the risk of stroke and blood clots in people who have a medical condition called atrial fibrillation that is not caused by a heart valve problem. With atrial fibrillation, part of the heart does not beat the way it should. This can lead to the formation of blood clots, which can travel to the brain, causing a stroke, or to other parts of the body. Treat blood clots in the veins of your legs, deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, or lungs, pulmonary embolism, or PE. Reduce the risk of blood clots happening again in people who continue to be at risk for DVT or PE after receiving treatment for blood clots for at least six months. Help prevent a blood clot in the legs and lungs of people who have just had hip or knee replacement surgery. 
Xarelto is also used with low-dose aspirin to reduce the risk of serious heart problems, heart attack, and stroke in patients with coronary artery disease, a condition where the blood supply to the heart is reduced or blocked, or peripheral arterial disease, a condition where the blood flow to the legs is reduced. It is not known if Xarelto is safe and effective in children. Important safety information. What is the most important information I should know about Xarelto? Xarelto may cause serious side effects, including increased risk of blood clots if you stop taking Xarelto. People with atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat that is not caused by a heart valve problem, non-valvular, are at an increased risk of forming a blood clot in the heart, which can travel to the brain, causing a stroke, or to other parts of the body. Xarelto lowers your chance of having a stroke by helping to prevent clots from forming. If you stop taking Xarelto, you may have increased risk of forming a clot in your blood. Do not stop taking Xarelto without talking to the doctor who prescribes it for you. Stopping Xarelto increases your risk of having a stroke. If you have to stop taking Xarelto, your doctor may prescribe another blood thinner medicine to prevent a blood clot from forming. Increased risk of bleeding. Xarelto can cause bleeding, which can be serious and may lead to death. This is because Xarelto is a blood thinner medicine, anticoagulant, that lowers blood clotting. During treatment with Xarelto, you are likely to bruise more easily, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. You may have a higher risk of bleeding if you take Xarelto and take other medicines that increase your risk of bleeding, including aspirin or aspirin-containing products, long-term chronic use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, warfarin sodium, Coumadin, Jantivin, any medicine that contains heparin, Clopidogrel, Plavix, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, or serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, other medicines to prevent or treat blood clots. Tell your doctor if you take any of these medicines. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if you are not sure if your medicine is one listed above. Call your doctor or get medical help right away if you develop any of these signs or symptoms of bleeding. Unexpected bleeding or bleeding that lasts a long time, such as nosebleeds that happen often, unusual bleeding from gums, menstrual bleeding that is heavier than normal, or vaginal bleeding, bleeding that is severe or you cannot control, red, pink, or brown urine, bright red or black stools, looks like tar, cough up blood or blood clots, Vomit blood, or your vomit looks like coffee grounds. Headaches, feeling dizzy or weak. Pain, swelling, or new drainage at wound sites. Spinal or epidural blood clots, hematoma. People who take a blood thinner medicine, anticoagulant, like Xarelto, and have medicine injected into their spinal and epidural area, or have a spinal puncture, have a risk of forming a blood clot that can cause long-term or permanent loss of the ability to move. Paralysis. Your risk of developing a spinal or epidural blood clot is higher if a thin tube called an epidural catheter is placed in your back to give you certain medicine. You take NSAIDs or a medicine to prevent blood from clotting. You have a history of difficult or repeated epidural or spinal punctures. You have a history of problems with your spine or have had surgery on your spine. If you take Xarelto and receive spinal anesthesia or have a spinal puncture, your doctor should watch you closely for symptoms of spinal or epidural blood clots. Tell your doctor right away if you have back pain, tingling, numbness, muscle weakness, especially in your legs and feet, or loss of control of the bowels or bladder, incontinence. Xarelto is not for people with artificial heart valves. Do not take Xarelto if you currently have certain types of abnormal bleeding. Talk to your doctor before taking Xarelto if you currently have unusual bleeding, are allergic to rivaroxaban or any of the ingredients of Xarelto. Before taking Xarelto, tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including if you have ever had bleeding problems, have liver or kidney problems, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Xarelto will harm your unborn baby. Tell your doctor right away if you become pregnant during treatment with Xarelto. Taking Xarelto while you are pregnant may increase the risk of bleeding in you or in your unborn baby. If you take Xarelto during pregnancy, tell your doctor right away if you have any signs or symptoms of bleeding or blood loss. 
C. What is the most important information I should know about Xarelto for signs and symptoms of bleeding? Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? Xarelto may pass into your breast milk. You and your doctor should decide if you will take Xarelto or breastfeed. Tell all of your doctors and dentists that you are taking Xarelto. They should talk to the doctor who prescribed Xarelto for you before you have any surgery, medical, or dental procedure. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Some of your other medicines may affect the way Xarelto works, causing side effects. Certain medicines may increase your risk of bleeding. C. What is the most important information I should know about Xarelto? How should I take Xarelto? Take Xarelto exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Do not change your dose or stop taking Xarelto unless your doctor tells you to. Your doctor may change your dose if needed. If you take Xarelto for atrial fibrillation that is not caused by a heart valve problem, take Xarelto one time a day with your evening meal. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Blood clots in the veins of your legs or lungs. Take Xarelto one or two times a day as prescribed by your doctor. For the 15 mg and 20 mg doses, Xarelto should be taken with food. For the 10 mg dose, Xarelto may be taken with or without food. Take your Xarelto doses at the same time each day. If you miss a dose, if you take the 15 mg dose of Xarelto two times a day, a total of 30 mg of Xarelto in one day, Take Xarelto as soon as you remember on the same day. You may take two doses at the same time to make up for the missed dose. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. If you take Xarelto one time a day, take Xarelto as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Hip or knee replacement surgery. Take Xarelto one time a day with or without food. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. Take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. Reducing the risk of serious heart problems, heart attack, and stroke in coronary artery disease or peripheral arterial disease. Take Xarelto two times a day with or without food. If you miss a dose of Xarelto, take your next dose at your regularly scheduled time. If you have difficulty swallowing the Xarelto tablet whole, Talk to your doctor about other ways to take Xarelto. Your doctor will decide how long you should take Xarelto. Xarelto may need to be stopped, if possible, for one or more days before any surgery or medical or dental procedure. If you need to stop taking Xarelto for any reason, talk to your doctor to find out when you should stop taking it. Do not stop taking Xarelto without first talking to the doctor who prescribed it to you. Your doctor will tell you when to start taking Xarelto again after your surgery or procedure. Do not run out of Xarelto. Refill your prescription for Xarelto before you run out. When leaving the hospital following a hip or knee replacement, be sure that you have Xarelto available to avoid missing any doses. If you take too much Xarelto, go to the nearest hospital emergency room or call your doctor right away. What are the possible side effects of Xarelto? The most common side effect of Xarelto was bleeding. C. What is the most important information I should know about Xarelto? Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. You may also report side effects to Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Inc. at 1-800-Janssen-1-800-526-7736. Please see full prescribing information including boxed warnings and medication guide at www.zarelto-us.com. Trademarks are those of their respective owners.